Hey everyone! So today we are going to read a passage called the Bigfoot Mural. So a mural is kind of like a painting that's usually on a building or a store or the side of a wall somewhere. Follow along while I read. Dwayne Flatmo is a mural artist who lives in California. Dwayne has covered the walls of many dull buildings with eye-catching paintings. One of Duane's biggest paintings is on the outside of a hardware store. The owner of the store has always liked Duane's art. When he built the store, he left space for a mural on an outside wall. Duane used the wall to paint a Bigfoot mural. Bigfoot is a tall, hairy creature. Many people say he isn't real, though there are many stories about him. People in the town with the store often claim that Bigfoot lives nearby. The mural shows Bigfoot helping a building crew. This makes sense on a store that sells hardware. Whatever you think about Bigfoot, you will probably enjoy this big art. All right, so now go ahead and take a moment, and I want you to think about whether this story is fiction or nonfiction. It is actually nonfiction because this is actually a true story. And the, there are pictures, photographs of real people in real buildings. All right, now let's look over here and let's take a look at some questions about the passage. So number one, go ahead and get your paper out and write down your answers for these questions. Number one, what is the passage mostly about? A, things to buy at a hardware store. B, an interesting piece of art on a building. C, people who say Bigfoot is real. Or D, how to make big murals. Number two, read the example sentences. The mural shows Bigfoot helping a building crew. This makes sense on a store that sells hardware. What does the word hardware mean in this example? A, houses and other buildings. B, computers and computer programs. C, building supplies and tools. Or D, art and art supplies. Number three, where did people in the town say that Bigfoot lived? A, near their town. B, near Montana. C, in a hardware store. Or D, nowhere in the real world. And lastly, number four. What was the author's purpose for writing this passage? A, to entertain readers with legends of Bigfoot. B, to persuade readers that Bigfoot is real. C, to explain to readers the tools needed for painting murals. Or D, to inform readers about an unusual painting. All right, so now go ahead and get a sheet of paper out and write down all of your questions. And don't forget to submit your work to your dojo portfolio. Can't wait to see y'all's work.